Hi folks, so in our previous video we learned about sigma notation and I'm going to show you how to use your TI-84 plus calculator to enter sigma notation in and evaluate an expression. So just like we had done before, uh, we're going to do one of the examples from the prior video. So if I need to type in a sigma expression, I'll type in math and then I can scroll up to get to the bottom but it's under zero. So we'll just go back and I'll press math and then zero will bring up sigma notation for me. Now I need to create a variable, so I use the variable button on my calculator and I can use x or t or, th th or sigma itself or n, uh, but it doesn't matter which. And so I'm going to have, let's do our, f our second example. So we'll go from 1 to 5 of the expression 2x. And so we'll hit equals and we'll get to 30. And so this went through the previous calculation from the previous example. That we had done here. So that would be the equivalent way to type that in. Let's go ahead and do uh, the third example. So we'll go math, we'll scroll up, we'll go to lump summation, and we'll again set x, but this time remember our index was 0. So we'll set our index to 0 and we'll go up to 4. Now we're going to have to do multiple expressions. So we'll do a bracketed expression for negative 1 to the power x, and then we'll multiply that by I believe it was sigma plus 1. And we'll close the brackets. Now it is important to leave these larger outer brackets around your entire expression that you're evaluating, but we go ahead and do that and we get our prior value of 3, which is what we would get if we term by term expanded it. And so that's how to use your TI-84 plus C calculator to work with sigma notation.